Ron going Hello hunting. everyone, are you ready for another adventure? I'm mm, sorry, I sound so tired. I just spent the last matter. 50 minutes doing technical up. difficulties. So today's video, I'm just going to be using Chrome. I'm going to do the basic setup. I'm going to do Mercury Gauntlet. I'm going to do uh, the Agito, and I'm going to do the High Dragon Trial for Fire. Um, Krom, I think, is better as a uh, someone with a co-op ability. Uh, at least from my kind of testing with him, I kind of... There's some issues. Uh, at least I think there are. But... I, th I don't know. Let's get into it. I'm happy to have him, of course. I'm super happy to have him. I like Krom. I like him a whole bunch. And this also means that when this banner returns in like two years, I don't have to worry about pulling him. Um... So let's first go in here. We'll go into Wind Gauntlet. This is going to be super unfair because even a, a lot of fire units would fail to beat this in the amount of time. We were like literally at the high, one of the highest, one, close to the high end of it, I think. Before it turns out I'm not. By the way, if you end up liking this video, because again, I did just spend the last huh, 15 minutes trying to get <laughs> everything working because everything's breaking around around me. You can support me emotionally by leaving a like, commenting about how you feel about Krom in general, and let's get into the video. And subscribe to me if you want more Jagalia stuff. Trust me, I'm usually kind of uh, unkempt. I should say for this, I don't 100. I didn't look up what the best thing for Krom is, so I just kind of went into it, going into with the idea that I wanted to get his skill one quickly. I want him, and then I also just have the very like blanket. Um, Shining Overlord, which is for all sword units. All right, let's go in. So here's the basic thing about Chrom is that you want to use skill one a whole bunch, and then when you have absolutely everything max, then you want to use his um, his skill two. In order to use a skill two, you need three charges of a specific stack. So you need to use skill one three times, and then the meter up top has to also be fully at three. So let's go here. Okay, let's see if I can uh, do sword combos because, <laughs> I, again, it's a learning process for me. I'm still not the greatest when it comes to comp. Okay, so. There we go. Mm -hmm. Hopefully he hits. Okay. I'm pretty sure if he doesn't hit, then I lose the ability to um, uh, use it. Okay, so. So far, so good. He's at three. I think I can use it. Perfect. And I can use it early. Nah, oh, damn. I used it too early. So if the... If the meter you see here there with the two, it should have gone completely to zero if I was using it correctly, but I didn't use it correctly. So that means I was missing a stack of something. And this is kind of where it's like... You miss out on a lot of damage if you don't do it that way, so... Damn, that's unfortunate. Okay, I should have three now, perfect. Okay, there we go. A lot of damage for sure, but you saw the kind of set of seeds that entire setup just to do that much damage and uh, not anywhere close to dying, unfortunately. And let me just show off how much it does here. Hmm. Again, that's a lot of burden to put on one unit for sure. So I'm not here saying like, oh, he can't be using Mercury Gauntlet. A lot of units can't be using Mercury Gauntlet. But just to kind of show you how long it actually takes for him to um, build up all that stuff. And obviously I think it would be better if um, it'd be faster if you use the right amount of prints and you were better with sword units. I'm not the greatest with sword units. Oh, I thought I had a lot less time. I'm actually doing way better than I thought. Let me see. Only two, so I can't use skill two if I want to do the full power. There we go. And I can't use it now because he'll hit me out of it. There we go. Perfect. Like, again, he does a lot of damage when you can get it off, for sure. But the problem is, is I think the main issue I think I see in this is that skill one is a means to an end. So skill one is kind of only used for um, getting skill two up, and there's not really many much benefit to it. All right, let's go into the next one. Okay. Uh, no, I usually do save Agito for last. Here we go. Yep. Standard. Let me see. Lowen. And just to show off 
Chrome real quick. She deals flame damage to the enemy directly ahead and grants the user one stack of Flame Awakening. Flame Awakening can stack up to three times and each stack will progressively increase the strength of Aether. Using Aether will consume all stacks of Flames of Awakening. And then Aether deal flame damage to the target and nearby enemies and restore 3% of the damage inflicted as HP to the user. This recovery caps at 15% of their maximum HP. Afflict, uh, afflicted foes take extra damage. The skill's strength will increase relative to the number of Flames of Awakening stack on it and it will use with so and so. And then finally his skill is what lets him... No, not that one. No, come on. Oh, there we go. Rightful King. If Aether is used when the user has three stacks of Flames of Awakening and their skill reservoir is at level three, the variant called Awakening of Aether will be used instead. Using Awakening Aether will consume all three stacks of Flames of Awakening and empty the user's skill reservoir. Now obviously, as long as you're paying attention, it should be no problem, but if you have two and then you use it a little bit prematurely, you'll lose all those stacks and you'll be kind of an unhappy camper. And then also he has sleep resistance, which is not the greatest for this one specific specifically because he stuns. So for this one right here, here's what's gonna happen, is that I'm actually gonna use Zanya, and then I'm gonna make it so that he, <laughs> Krom does not get immediately eaten by, uh, shouldn't Prove automatically die. Let me see. Go here. Don't okay, give so. Up. You will so leave here so he's gonna do that. Home Come on. Thank this you. way. I'm ready to Aim it this way. Good. Alright, let's go to Chrom. Oh no, get away from there. There we go. Okay. So again, he can't be hit at all because if he does, he'll be stunned. <laughs> so he's not great for this one. Uh... Don't tell me, don't fall asleep, don't fall asleep. Damn. Not the greatest. I shall rend you a to be fair, that, that's the problem with... That's the problem with every single one of these units, not just, uh, Krom here. He's gonna die. He's just gonna die horribly. Uh, just kill me. Kill me! Come on. Kill me. Kill me! Kill me. And Zanya is so strong, <laughs> she refuses to die and stupid Loen. Uh, I think I've made my point with this one. You have to be very good. So, there are, there's a lot of good uh, units who don't have a stun paralysis who are used in um, uh, High Dragon Trials mid Midgore Soma. Um, Krom just doesn't feel like one of them though, to be 100% honest with you. And finally, we'll go into Agito. Someone actually mentioned that having sleep resistance is actually very useful for um, Volk's Wrath. So let's see how this goes. Uh, let me see if I can find someone in a pub and that won't turn away the second they see my Krom. You can really hear the tiredness in my voice. I wasn't kidding, man. I'm, I'm so beat. I'm so tired. And I was... What? The hell is wrong with that? All right, let's go back. It's really weird. I'm so tired. And that dumb dog is still yelling at drug dealers outside. I mean, that's what his, his purpose is. I'm gonna guess no one's making a standard room. Is that why this is taking forever? All right, I'll pause and we'll come back when I have a match. Couldn't find one. So with limited time, I'm going into this. I will, just like the other high dragon child, I expect to die immediately. Cause I don't think my team is ready to take this on solo with AI, so Behold the blade of don't be surprised when I lose. Now it's to be expected, to be honest. By okay. Well, if I remember right, he always picks. There we go. Oops. Thank you. There we go. Oh, damn. Get out of the way. Okay. Thank you. Ready to rejoin the fray. Uh oh, that's bad. Oh, was that not a low in front I had? So, oh, that's not good. Anything can change. Oops. Jesus. I'm actually kind of surprised that the AI is lasting this long, to be honest. 
Maybe that's just the I'll power of Loen. Oh, I should have brought. Um... Oh, that's perfect. Let's see, we got two. So now we'll be able to use our big boy sword pretty soon. Perfect. The reason I saved it is just because. Is because of specifically not to die to those uh, those things. I have to move out of the way because I was not able to get my skill quick enough. There go. Saving it. I am also saving the AI part AI partner when I do that, so that's another reason why I'm doing it. Using it early just because I have to. I believe I'm immune to sleep. No, that was not the right one. Move. Move. Well, we did find up until that point. Oh, we were so close. So close to potentially beating him, but now there's no chance. Dang. And all because I fell asleep, too. Oh, actually, we can still beat him, I bet. Here's another thing, is that having two skills is actually super useful for Volk. Because when you only have one, it causes an issue like that. Perfect. Here's a dog scheme. So I'm gonna go here. I'm pretty sure this is sleep, so that's resistance to it. Get rid of that. Perfect. Alright. If we stay over here, we should be fine. Lowen! I'm alright now. How about this? I should have saved the low one right there. Oh, it's fine. Well, now I'm pretty sure I can beat him, <laughs> actually, with Chrom. Oh, no. I said I spoke too soon. I'm Icarus. I flew too close to the sun. I gotta stop using that. No, get out of the way. Okay, perfect. This part I can handle pretty easy. All right, let's see. Thank you. I'm ready to rejoin the fray. Anything yeah. can change. Yes, suffer. No. How about this? Jesus. Such strength. I'm gonna go Power dragon. To a dragon. Go here. Should be fine. Come on, come on. Anything can Damn. change. How about this? See, do I have? No, I don't. I have. When I was looking, it's like, oh, can I use my skill too? Finally, no. I can use it now. Perfect. Okay, I should be able to use green. Nope, <laughs> that was the other one. I'm so used to playing Zanya and being able to hit the green ones by the way. That's why I'm like, oh, oops. To be fair, I'm doing much better than I thought. I thought for sure I would have died by now. There we go. That's unfortunate. Oh, I die here. This is where I die. Did I not die? Why? Again, Lowen. No one else needed to survive for this except for Lowen. Okay. I'm ready to rejoin the fray. Anything can change. Okay. Nope, that's the wrong one. Go here. Leave it to me. Perfect. No, that's an accident. Oh, but it's okay because I'm not playing. Um, I'm not playing um with groups, so it's fine. How about this? Who knew that my accidental mess up would actually be helpful to Anything can change. Oh no. He went so far. Well, now Loan can just die. Loan, you can just die, literally. It's fine. Die, my boy. Right here, he should be able to die. Right here? Yep, good. Then we get the retry. Leave it to me. I'll finish this. It's not over yet. It's gonna be right there. Oops. Oh, but it's okay. That actually helped out. No! This is where I die. 
I'm sorry, everyone. Damn it. <laughs> no, this is now. Then now it's over. We uh, we almost made it, but no. At the end of the day, I was just not good enough as a sword user or as Krom to get the job done. Not to give up. That's Krom. I think there's a, there is something to say about Krom. I just don't know if his specific playstyle is for me. I just don't like it. I just don't. I just think that it's not. Skill 2 needs to do a hell of a lot more damage if it's going to make up for the fact that for the most part you're really only you only really have one skill and then occasionally you have a second skill. Um, it's crazy. But again, there is one thing that I think is super positive about Karam that I can never take away from is the fact that this co ability. Actually, now that I think about it, that might be why we did as good as we did is because we had 10% more HP and 10% more defense. Um, which ended up helping out a whole bunch in that, um, Agido. I actually think if I had played it on auto, I might have had a better chance of winning, funny enough. But yeah, that's the end of today's video. Uh, it went on for a while just because that Agido fight went for a very long time. Tell me how you feel about Krom. I'm, he's not really for me. I would, if I'm gonna use a sword unit, I'm probably gonna use Marth. I also think that in a year from now, this Krom unit has the potential to be super crazy busted. If they can kind of like make his skill one better and then also make, maybe make it, let me put it this way. He should not take all of them if you're not doing a full three. Because the idea of like, oh, I accidentally use it on two. So now I actually lose all my stacks, but I keep all the two thing. It's kind of annoying, I think. But that's what I feel. That's the end of today's video, everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.